Marcus D'Agostino is a former American football player who was a defensive end for the New York Jets from 1979 to 1988. A five-time Pro Bowler, his 107 and one-half quarterback sacks in only his first 100 starts in the NFL made him one of the quickest and most feared pass rushers of his generation. Gostino was ranked the eighth greatest pass rusher in NFL history on NFL Network's Top 10 Pass Rushers. Early life, Gostino was born in Ardmore, Oklahoma, and moved to Springerville, Arizona at the age of seven, when his parents, Ernie and Lou, bought a ranch. Mark broke his leg as a child during this time in such a horrific manner that he was told by doctors that he would never walk again. Mark overcame the injury in the odds and Ernie built his son a rodeo ring, and Mark began entering team roping events at 12. Mark's other passion was collecting Indian artifacts in Arizona's White Mountains. At Round Valley High School, Gostino needed urging from his father to play football. Gostino showed promise, but not enough to attract attention from major colleges. College he entered Eastern Arizona Junior College in 1975 and earned All-America honors in his first season. He transferred to Arizona State University, and spent just one season playing defensive end there before finally settling upon East Central Oklahoma State University, now East Central University, in Ada, Oklahoma. He had 27 quarterback sacks in his college career, and earned outstanding defensive lineman honors for the North in the 1979 Senior Bowl. He became ECU's first ever draft pick when the New York Jets selected him in the second round of the 1979 NFL Draft. New York Jets, Gostino was among the most talented and honored defensive linemen of his era. He made the Pro Bowl five straight seasons and finished his 10-year career with 107 or one-half sacks, the Jets' all-time record. He was a first-team All-Pro in years 1981-85 and was consensus All-AFC in each of those years. Equals the New York Sack Exchange equals, in New York, Gostino was a key part of the famed New York Sack Exchange, the Jets' defensive line that also included Joe Klecko, Marty Leon and Abdul Salam. The four combined for 66 sacks in 1981, including 20 by Gostino, to lead the Jets to their first playoff game since 1969. He was second-team All-Pro in 1981 as well as being consensus All-AFC. In November 1981, he, Klecko, Leon and Salam were invited to ring the ceremonial opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange, which served as the inspiration for their nickname. With Klecko rupturing the patella tendon in his right knee in the second game of the strike-shortened 1982 season against the New England Patriots, Gostino became the new unofficial leader of the sack exchange. Though he was often double-teamed, he finished the season with six sacks, and was voted the NFL Defensive Player of the Year by NEA. The Jets made the playoffs again in 1982, losing the AFC Championship game to the Miami Dolphins equals defensive player of the year equals the 1983 season started with Gostino and the Jets first round pick of the 1983 NFL draft quarterback Ken O'Brien getting arrested and charged with assault at Studio 54 despite this off the field indiscretion Gostino totaled 19 sacks to lead the NFL for the first time Gostino was nationally famous for doing his signature sack dance after sacking an opposing quarterback however he had to stop when the NFL declared it unsportsmanlike taunting in March 1984 and began finning players for it. The ban on the sack dance stemmed from a 1983 game against the Los Angeles Rams, when Gostino and Rams Pro Football Hall of Fame offensive tackle Jackie Slater got into a fight following a Gostino sack of Rams quarterback Vince Ferragamo. Gostino had his best individual season with an NFL record 22 sacks. 69 tackles and one fumble recovery for a touchdown in 1984. He was voted the UPIAFC Defensive Player of the Year, and was also named MVP of that season's Pro Bowl after tallying four sacks and a safety in that game. Gostino's sack record stood for 17 years until Michael Strahan broke it in 2001. New defensive coordinator Bud Carson installed a 3-4 defense for the 1985 season. Gostino shifted from left defensive end to right defensive end, although he did move him around to allow for mismatches. 
Castino broke his hand early in that season but still finished second in the league with 13 and one half sacks and was voted All Pro by the NEA. The Jets finished 11-5 in 1985 to earn a wildcard spot in the playoffs along with fellow AFC East rivals, the New England Patriots. Castino recorded a sack in the Jets' 26-14 loss to the Pats at the Meadowlands. Equals 1986 playoffs equals, for the start of the 1986 season, Castino was featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated alongside New York Giants star linebacker Lawrence Taylor. Injuries limited Castino to just two sacks in ten games as he was slowed by groin and abdominal muscle ailments and then by a damaged left knee that required arthroscopic surgery and forced him to miss the last five games of the regular season. Castino rebounded in the postseason, recording a sack in the Jets' 35-15 wild card round victory over the Kansas City Chiefs and two or one half more in the divisional round playoff game against the Cleveland Browns. However, late in the fourth quarter of that game, with the Jets leading 20-10 and the Browns facing a second down and 24 from their own 18-yard line, Castino was called for a questionable roughing the passer penalty. The play had originally resulted in an incomplete pass by Browns quarterback Bernie Kosa so instead of having a third and 24 situation, the 15-yard penalty on Castino gave the Browns a first down at their own 33. From there, the Browns drove the remaining 67 yards to a touchdown which cut the Jets' lead to 20-17. The Browns would later tie the game with seven seconds remaining in regulation on a 22-yard field goal by Mark Mosley and win it on a 27-yard field goal by Mosley two minutes and two seconds into the second overtime period. After the game, Castino said that he hadn't been guilty of roughing and that he was just following through. Teammate Marty Leon the Jets' other starting defensive end, defended Castino saying, Ben Drieth, is a referee who's known to take care of the quarterback. Joe Walton, the Jets' head coach would say only, it was a very key play, Mark was just trying to do the best he could do. Equals 1987 NFL players strike equals, in 1987, Castino was the only New York Jet regular to immediately cross the picket line in that year's players strike citing his need to pay alimony. Teammate Dave Jennings said of this understandably unpopular move, we expected it from Mark. He's always put himself in front of the team. Castino got into a fight with backup center Guy Bingham when he drove into the Jets' complex early in the strike. Castino was later joined in crossing the picket line by teammates Marty Leon and Joe Klecko, further undermining the players' strike. Equals retirement equals. Castino met model and actress Bridget Nielsen following the 1987 season, and soon began a highly publicized romance. Castino led the AFC in sacks seven weeks into the 1988 season. He then abruptly announced his retirement soon after Nielsen, to whom he had previously announced his engagement, claimed to be suffering from cancer of the uterus. At the time of his retirement, Castino was the NFL's all time leader in sacks. The announcement was followed by a surge of investigation by local New York papers of whether she was telling the truth, reflecting citywide mistrust of Castino. Castino tried a comeback, in the Canadian Football League in 1990. He signed a two-year contract with the BC Lions, but got injured and was released after only four games. Equals career statistics equals, sacks were not an official stat until 1982, postseason stats played in seven postseason contests, with five starts, and had nine sacks including for a one-half in three games during the 1982 postseason. Boxing, in 1991, Castino began a career in boxing, compiling a 15-2 record before retiring in 1996. His first fight against Derek Dukes produced a first-round knockout. Dukes, a professional wrestler, later admitted he took a dive. TV news magazine show 60 Minutes interviewed several others that fought Gastino and were told to take dives to make Gastino look good. His career ended in 1996 when he lost to another former football player, Alonzo Highsmith. His record in boxing was 15 wins, 2 losses, and 1 no contest. Personal life, his ex-wife Lisa Gastino and their daughter Brittany Gastino starred in the E! reality television show. 
the Gastino Girls. Gastino has a son with actress Bridget Nielsen, Killian Marcus. Gastino made a cameo appearance as a prisoner in a crowd during a prison football game in the 1989 film Lock Up starring Sylvester Stallone. Later he himself would spend time in prison due to several disputes with the law, including domestic violence and drug possession in 1993. In 2000, Gastino spent 11 months in Rikers Island for parole violations. Gastino has said he has become a changed person and put his turbulent past behind him. Shortly after his release from prison in 2001, he claimed to have a religious conversion to faith in Jesus Christ. Gastino has appeared on programs such as The 700 Club to speak of his experience. Gastino is now a choir member at Times Square Church. References